This is big breaking emergency news. ICE, Immigration and Customs Enforcement and U.S. Border Patrol just sent out a letter. And this is one of the worst things I've ever seen, right? The data and the documentation of what's going on behind the scenes that they haven't been telling us, right? This has been going on for years and they just released this information in this letter. And it is way worse than I thought, than any of us thought. And there's no stopping it, right? So let's get into the details here really quick, guys. Please just hit that like and hit that subscribe. I appreciate that. It helps to get these warnings out and I'm posting multiple videos a day, every day, keeping you guys updated. So they just released this letter and this is crazy, right? I cannot believe the information that's in this. This was information that was requested by Tony Gonzalez and he requested it requested this all the way back in March and they just released this information and this is insane there's a lot to unpack here but some of the worst things in this letter that is being revealed is stuff like this right there are over 13,000 people living inside the U.S. right now that are not in detention or not in immigration and customs custody okay they're not in u.s custody but they're inside the u.s and they've been led into the u.s more than thirteen thousand people that have been convicted of homicide they're convicted murderers and over thirteen thousand people confirmed by this ice document and letter that they just released have been allowed into the united states this is insane how is this possible okay and here's some details on it it says the 13,099 people convicted of homicide living in the u.s may have never even had contact with ice the two law enforcement officials said all right there were some people commenting on this letter that was just released okay and it says that some may have crossed the border and then been released because border patrol lacks information on their criminal history it says many cases in many cases the u.s is not notified of someone's criminal conviction until after they cross into the country so people are allowed in and then we found out that over the past few years over thirteen thousand people have been let in that have been convicted of homicide all right and it says in other cases migrants convicted of crimes may be released by state and local officials after they serve their time without ice being notified as is policy in many sanctuary cities ice then has to locate the person after release in order to detain and deport them okay so there are some people that have even been convicted while they've been inside the u.s for these crimes and then released by sanctuary cities and ice cannot find them right this is insane insane there's over there's 1845 facing homicide charges right now okay so over 13,000 convicted and 1845 facing homicide charges right now this is insane and also out of the seven to ten million people that have come in to the u.s over the last few years since around 2020 these numbers are from late 2020 it seems like it says there were 662,566 non-citizens with criminal histories on ice's national docket which includes those but detained by ice and on agencies non-detained docket as well all right so also out of the seven to ten million people that have admittedly come over six hundred thousand have been convicted of crimes as well too over six hundred thousand so almost ten percent of the people that have come into the US the last few years have been convicted of some type of crime. 
all right and they are warning us too that these people they're not able to track them down all right these numbers are low as well too all right because some of the data is not even shared from these sanctuary cities okay they're not reporting it federally and they're not reporting it to ice either so these numbers could be even lower potentially than we know of okay and this is just shocking okay so there are over 13,000 potential murderers right people convicted in the u.s right now openly walking around openly who knows who knows which city they're in which area they're in who knows where they're at ice doesn't know where they're at they could be anywhere this is a major national security concern for our country and we are not able to properly vet people okay there are also potentially people coming over from criminal organizations as well too from around the world so let me know what you guys think down below please just hit it up for me down there to help get these warnings out i appreciate that it helps and these are shocking numbers okay they've known this has been going on for years and it's just been allowed to happen and the situation has gotten a lot worse and check this out too it says here that regarding the number of declined detainers since fiscal year 2021 from october 1st 2020 through january 22nd 2024 so these numbers are from the end of 2020 like i was saying the start of fiscal year 2021 is october 1st so that's when these numbers are starting so it's the past three years from july of this year it says ice lifted 24,796 detainers of which 23,591 were declined by state and local law enforcement agencies and 1,205 were lifted due to insufficient notice to ice all right so 24,000 people were also released that ice had detainers for and most of the time they have detainers for higher level crimes okay they're most of the time they're going after people convicted of felonies or higher level charges and more serious charges and they're saying that almost twenty five thousand detainers by ice where they ask the city to hold this person hold them in your jail cell until we can pick them up and almost twenty five thousand have been denied as well too where the city refuses to cooperate and they let this person go either on bail or they let them go after they've been convicted in the states and that would then trigger a status to deport them all right they would then be in a non-legal status because they've been convicted of certain crimes okay and ice puts in the detainer and they're refusing to acknowledge it and cooperate so that's another major issue that was just revealed as well too is that these sanctuary cities have let over twenty five thousand people go with ice detainers okay which are normally high level people that they're going after serious crimes and they want people to get out of the country okay that's what ice is trying to do so this is big and i want you to listen to what this border union chief said as well too right he was just talking about or the border patrol council sorry the border patrol council vp also revealed this about what's going on at the border and the situation here listen to what he said on fox news really quick 
Look, I stood with President Trump when he actually went to the border to areas that is, you know, notorious for drug smuggling and human smuggling. He stood there. He spoke to the agents. He's been speaking to the boots on the ground for over eight years. He's spoken to him, asking what's going on. He's gone through the National Border Patrol Council numerous times. He stood there for over an hour in over a hundred degree heat with victims of uh, families of, from illegal aliens, and he spoke to reporters. Nice today. Vice President Harris went down there and she spoke to two members of management. She didn't speak to agents. She spoke to two members of management. And I'm going to tell you, I bet money that even those two members, I feel bad for them because I guarantee you they didn't even want to be there. But she spoke to these two members of management and she was there for 20 minutes for a photo op. That's all she did. President Trump yeah. actually cares and he's actually gone down there and met with boots on the ground and he's done it multiple times for long uh, times at all, every single time he's been there. This is just nothing but a complete photo op. That's all it is. It's her Hail Mary before the election. All right. So that is what the Border Patrol Council VP Vice President just said on TV too, right? He's fired up and he is placing blame on on Harris and this administration right that's what he's saying and he is saying that this situation should have been taken care of the past few years and he hasn't seen her down there right and she was supposedly the borders are that was their designated role the past few years and she hasn't been down there at all so this is kind of strange that she's going down there at this time when the situation's been a crisis, a international crisis for years now. And this is the first time she goes there and he's saying that Border Patrol are upset about it, right? And wanted her to come down before this time to help fix the crisis, right? So... Let me know what you guys think down below, guys. This is shocking, right? The letter that was just sent out and the numbers that they're revealing. So I hope you guys are staying safe and staying prepared out there. Please just also be thinking about the people in North Carolina right now, Tennessee, that are dealing with these storms. Insane situation. Right, if you can give out, reach out to people there, all right. We've been giving some behind the scenes here. And I'm only saying that just to encourage people to do the same, right? So it's it's bad there, guys. Right. So hope you guys are staying safe and prepared. I hope you have big blessings for your life and your family. And I hope you have a big old blessed day.